All right, all you meal preppers out there, I have a little bit of bad news for you. I know I am always instilling in you to make sure you are prepared and plan ahead with your food. But I have to renege on that a little bit. Because here's the thing. There is some recent science that is talking about amines. And amines are a byproduct of protein degeneration and protein breakdown. Basically, biogenic amines are the byproduct of microbial decarboxylation. That's a fancy way of saying protein breakdown generating amines. But what are amines? Right now it sounds like Greek. If you've ever taken an antihistamine before for an allergic reaction of some kind, well, then you know what I'm talking about. Because if you look at the word histamine, you'll see it's hist amine. That suffix is amine, and amine is the byproduct of breakdown that can cause an allergic response within the body. Now, histamine is just one of many amines that can be a product of leftover food, but I want to talk about how you can get around this issue, but I also want to educate you a little bit more on how leftovers can actually cause an issue within the body. So you talk about that inflammation, you talk about the allergic response. Well, what if I told you that eating specific foods that are left over for a long period of time can actually trigger that same allergic response within your body. That is an amine response. Now, the most prevalent one is gonna be that histamine response. So you can literally have that swelling kind of going on the inside of your body. But if you've ever eaten leftovers and paid attention to how your skin feels, sometimes you might actually find you're a little bit itchier. Now, there's people that are gonna be more sensitive to amines, people that are taking MAOIs or antidepressants, then there's also just gonna be those unfortunate ones that have a genetic predisposition to be more sensitive to that. If you've ever met people that are just allergic to everything, that kind of gives you a good indicator there. But how do we get around this issue? I mean, the food companies get around it, but they get around it by adding a bunch of preservatives, they get around it by adding nitrates, or just making prepackaged frozen foods, or making it things like jerky, where they're gonna just add copious amounts of sodium that allow the food to last longer. So how do we do this? Well. I've got a little trick for you. I think the best way that you can do it is to cook your proteins, cook your meats every two days. It sounds a little bit daunting, but honestly, it's going to elicit a better response within your body, allow you to get more nutrient absorption, and ultimately help you feel better. You see, the foods that have the biggest amine production are usually the meats. They're usually the fish, the red meats, the chickens, the wine, the cheese, even chocolate. Those are the top culprits here. So if we can take those particular foods out of the diet, and begin to cook them every couple of days rather than every three, four, five, six, seven days, you can make a huge step in how much you absorb in the way of nutrients. Now here's one more thing for you. For those that have digestive issues, like a leaky gut, or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or candida, you are gonna be that much more susceptible to suffering from an amine issue. So it's more important that you pay attention because your body doesn't have the gut flora to combat that. Amines are powerful things. So you wanna pay specific attention to it. Now, here's one more thing to put it all together for you. Have you ever noticed that red meat or fish goes bad a lot quicker in the fridge? That's because of amines. So red meat and fish are the foods that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you try to cook every one to two days. Now, I don't mean to make life miserable for you. I don't mean to make it tough on you, but I just want you to get the most out of your food. And I want you to be on top of the emerging science and the research that is showing how we really should eat to get the most out of our day and get the most out of our diet. See you in the next video.